Hey guys, Pete here with GIS Solutions, and today I'm going to show you how to import three-dimensional buildings from Blender into ArcGIS Pro. Stick around. Okay guys, so let's get started. So let's open up Blender, and we could go ahead and select this cube in the middle and delete it. We'll come up to our GIS tab. Now, if you don't have the GIS add-on, I'll leave a link in the description down below where I did a video on how to add the GIS add-on right here. So what we're going to do is go to GIS, Web Geo Data, Base Map. I'm going to use Google Satellite to zoom into an area of interest. So I'm going to zoom in over here to Florida in the United States, down by Miami. And what I'm simply going to do is select out an area so we could create some three-dimensional buildings. And of course, we'll import that into our ArcGIS Pro. So again, you don't want to be too far out because it might take too long for uh, the process to render. So I kind of suggest if you kind of zoom in as close as you can. And once you're satisfied, you could click the E button on your keyboard. And what that does, it just clips out that area. So right now it's just a two-dimensional two dimensional plane. So now if we come back up to our GIS tab, go to Web Geo Data, get OSM. So here, again, we can select you know, just buildings, or we can include highways, railways, waterways, just depend on what you're doing. And I'll just go and select everything just for demonstration purposes. We want to make sure that we check this box here, elevation from object. So that's really what's going to give the uh, the buildings their elevation. And it should default to this export Google sat whim right here. Okay, and we just go and click OK. And again, depending on the, the area of your canvas, it will determine how long it will take to, for this process to happen. It should just take a couple minutes. Okay, so the process is finished. I'm just going to click outside here and zoom in. And here are the three-dimensional buildings from OSM. So again, we want to import this into ArcGIS Pro. So I'm going to do, I'm just going to select somewhere on the buildings. So just the buildings are selected. Uh, originally, I, I selected or included the railways and the streets, but um, I'm actually just going to select the buildings. And again, this is just a simple process. I'm not an expert by any means. I know you could add some different textured finishes at this point, but for this demonstration, I'm just going to show just the simple way of adding this to ArcGIS Pro. Okay, so I'm just selecting the buildings, and we'll go back up to our GIS tab, and we'll export as a shape file. And I have it defaulted right now to the folder I want, Miami Buildings. So we are using the selected objects, which I just selected, opposed to the collection, which was everything I originally downloaded, which included the streets and railway railways. We're going to do Mesh to Features. And instead of Points, we're going to do Polygon. And Export. And this should be relatively quick. So I'm going to now open up my ArcGIS Pro document. It's blank. If I could insert new map, new globe scene. Now this will open up the, three, the 3D environment in ArcGIS Pro. OK, so I'm just going to refresh my folder. Sometimes you need to do that. And here are my Miami buildings shapefile. So if I just drag and drop, it's going to render. And if I move it down, you can see I got my three-dimensional buildings imported into ArcGIS Pro. And of course, I can always change my base map to imagery. And of course, you can always style the buildings as you please. Okay, guys, so I hope this was 
informative. And if you guys have any questions, as always, please uh, leave a comment down below. And as always, thanks so much for watching and please like and subscribe. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time.